That was so epic. Shields are online, sir. I expect weapons soon. Our cloaking device may take a bit longer. Blah. You are now in command of the ship by right of personal combat. The Federation ships that attacked are still in the area, and the IKS Sekpa is likely to need assistance in dispatching them. Let's do it. Your order, sir. Nice. Okay. Uh, you will receive skill points, expertise, complete mission. So it's like a mission within a mission. Congratulations, warrior. And that promoted me to warrior two. So doing this, uh, doing this tutorial pretty much uh, ranks you up a couple of notches. Take command. Captain, there's no sign of the Sigpa on scanners. We don't know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need Iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our Iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Okay. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by right. using Q. Q. Let's find some Iridium. Kagan has joined your crew. Oh, okay. So pretty much like the Romulan side, uh, and the Feds, I believe they also got one. Now we have Kagan, who is basically um, like, uh, uh, what's his name on the Romulan side that I just forgot? Um, Use W and S just to like move him. up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. So, all right. So, cool. We're in space, and it lets us know we can go forward, and we can stop. So that's good. Let's do that, then. Of course, you always have movement help. But um, we need to go toward these asteroids and scan for stuff. Iridium. Now, I know that I can use full impulse, but the uh, tutorial has not told me yet that it exists. So I will wait until the tutorial tells me that it's there. As far as I know, I don't know Hell, it's there. Full stop! Sir, I recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium. Scan for iridium. This asteroid contains no iridium, but there is that nearby field that might prove better prospecting. Okay. Kind of reminds me of... Use your uh, minimap or press M to see where your next objective is. Yeah, over there. Kind of reminds me of the Federation Sir, tutorial. I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid field. All right, now we have full impulse. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Now we know that exists. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the Federation tutorial right here at this part because they had a zoom in moment of an asteroid belt as well, and you had to go meet up with some ships there and fight off the Klingons. So now I guess we're kind of meeting up there and now I guess we're going to fight Federation. So it's like we're just on the other side maybe <laughs> of it. But uh, yeah, that's a little similar. They just changed the color <laughs> of space. Actually, this is beautiful though. Look at this. This is absolutely breathtaking. Hell, full stop! Sir, I stopped the ship this time. But from now on, you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. Yes, sir. Promising results, sir. Calibrating the scanners for a better look. It's a nice effect. I like that. Found several asteroids that contain iridium, Captain. Weapons are back online. Ooh, we have weapons Press now. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Okay. Fire. Warning. Ship is under attack. Magka! We found some Magka. iridium. Magka! Two and one more. Nice. Talk to first officer. Captain, I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are disabled. 
Might I suggest we add to the record of battle by disposing of this Federation scum? Absolutely, because Mr. Happy likes to kill people. Your order, sir! Approach and destroy the disabled frigate. Prepare for battle. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Which means getting closer. And uh, I, of course, I do know you can right-click these to do auto-fire, but I'm waiting to see if the tutorial tells me that I can right-click these. A lot of people forget that. Also, about the power levels, right now we're on balanced power, but it hasn't yet told me that attack mode exists. So let's see if it does that. Okay, here I am. Now what do I do? <laughs> Kill him. Destroy. Okay, let's destroy him. Warning. Ship is under attack. Mayday. Mayday. We are disabled and under attack by the Burrell we were searching for. Request assistance. Uh-oh. Big old daddy's coming. The big old starship. Target shields have failed. It hasn't yet told me about the power levels, but uh, they could help a lot. Okay. Sir, a Federation repaired! Just dead. I suggest you take it down. Well. Uh, I want a torpedo now. <laughs> I'm not waiting for you to tell me. I need a torpedo. Talk to First Officer. Captain, the Science Officer has determined that we are unable to find the Segpa because the Feds are jamming our sensors. The Unfortunately for them, we have determined the location of the ships that are jamming us. My recommendation is that we destroy those ships so we can locate the Segpa. It's going to be a tougher fight than what you faced so far, but the crew is feeling up to the challenge. Your okay. order, sir. Find and destroy the ships jamming our sensors. Prepare the cloaking device. You can cloak to improve your damage. You cannot cloak in combat, and you must decloak before you can attack. After decloaking, you receive a damage bonus for five seconds. I'm glad it told us that. That's important, especially on the Fed side, because that uh, <coughs> that uh, cloaking and decloaking for that damage buff is worth it. Okay, we need to go over here. But we're still on balanced power, so it hadn't told me yet to go to attack mode. Okay, now when we get into range, we can decloak. And hit them. You cannot fire until you deactivate your cloaking device. Which I just did. <laughs> Thank you. Finally die, sir. Jeez, it won't die. Okay, I'm gonna you need a torpedo. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. This will divert power from your other shields. Nice that it finally told me about that. distance between yourself and exploding ships. Scan for the sec bomb. This is Captain Kangar of the IKS sec bomb. Where is Captain Jarlik? 
Jarlak is dead. I challenge the coward for command of the lollipop and emerge victorious. <laughs> Finally! That miserable Topa had been a blight for far too long. Congratulations. May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, yes. do you want to join mm -hmm. our fight against this Federation Patak? My long-range comms are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Kapla, our disruptors thirst for more Federation holes to lance. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them the Segpa is in need of assistance. Let's rescue the Segpa, Kapla. Oops, that went away. Sir, the Federation ship is hailing us. Um, let's see. We'll answer them with our disruptors or a which ignores them, so... Or there's on-screen answer the hail, so I don't want to do ignore them because I do want to see what the hail says. So let's try that this time. This is the Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. This is the IKS Lollipop. Your days are numbered, Baktak. Captain Jerlek, what are you... Wait. Where is Captain Jerlek? Jerlek is dead. I am command of the Lollipop now. Well then, I assume you realize how outgunned you are? Nope. I'll cut you the same deal I had with Jerlek. Give us your prisoner, and we'll let you escape, and live to fight another day. Failure to comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by force. I like how they got the right bridge in the background for uh, the ship she's in, which is a galaxy class. Nice touch. Your order, sir! Battle stations, power to the weapons and shields. You're making a huge mistake. No, you are. Gotta get closer. <laughs> Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or pressing Alt and 1. Okay, now we know about that. Torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Nice, okay, we know about that. Now. Warning, the ship is under attack. But we don't know yet about attack mode. <laughs> Defense Force reinforcements are warping in! Target shields have failed. Oh, I miss evasive maneuvers right now. Such a shame, she was pretty too. Oh, the sec pause really damaged. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission. Contact Captain Kedgar. Hail KDF. We're going to stay here while repairs are underway. But you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately. High Command is expecting him. You probably want to space him by now. I know I did, but that would be a career-ending move for you. Just get him to Kronos. And uh, we're going to basically turn in another mission now. It's like two or three missions in this tutorial. Skill points, expertise. We get Disruptor, Dual Heavy Cannon, Mark II, free Starship modification, free costume change. Congratulations, Warrior. And... We're now warrior level three. So when we look at this, literally we are leveling up to, um, we are leveling up the first whole 10 ranks, or technically grades, really fast. 
Um, the next rank is at level 10, which is uh, Klingon Lieutenant Commander. So we're already at level 3. Uh, we're getting up there quite a, quite fast just through the tutorial. That was kind of a slow warm out. I guess this is Klingon space. Kronos, the Klingon homeworld. Okay, so we're still in the tutorial. Uh, we're not in the uh, open zone that everybody is in at Kronos. We're still, uh... So you're the here. one with my prisoner. Congratulations. We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Kronos Prison Facility out. For the prisoner transfer. Love the way the Gorn talk. Beam to prison. Alright, we resolved that mission and we acquired a new mission. First City. So I guess this is now going to introduce us to uh, the First City. Talk to prison warden. Are you the one delivering my prisoner? Okay, we got different options here. You can say, yes, I'm ready to transport him to your command, or yes, are you sure this facility is secure enough to hold him? Or, of course I am, and I can't wait to be rid of him. I'm gonna ask him, uh, make sure it's secure enough to hold him. This is a prison facility in the heart of First City. I have the strongest Gorn guards, and the fiercest Klingon interrogators. And on the off chance that a prisoner even could escape, they would find themselves in the most hostile environment they could imagine. First City, the heart of the Klingon Empire, teeming with Klingons, Gorn, Nausikans, Orions, and Lethians. I hear tell that there are even Romulans walking the streets these days. This is gonna get interesting. Yes, I went there. Sounds like you have things in order here. I'm ready to transfer the prisoners on your command. Boast make the worst prison bars, but honestly, he's your problem now. Take the talk off my hands. Yeah. Guards! Incoming Federation prisoners! Prepare cell 31 for his arrival. Oh, cell 31. Is that an inside joke? Oversee the transfer. Sir, your presence is requested in the Warriors Batleth Arena immediately. Okay. <laughs> Exit the prison. So that went swimmingly. Let's see if there's any other doors. I guess I can't go through the other doors. I have to try, though. Nope. That's it then. I guess we're gonna go practice Batleths. Oh, we can talk to Thrak. Bringing the spy to Kronos is a great victory for you and your ship. Thank you. Aha! We are at First City now, so we get a little glimpse of uh, basically where our home base is at. Oh, okay, now now we're basically back to where the original uh, tutorial, KDF tutorial was, where we have to uh, spar with some people and practice melee to get ourselves a Batleth. 
So, you were the new captain who earned his position by defeating a superior in personal combat. I hear tell that you were listed as the second officer of the Lollipop. Not the first. Challenge rights are only extended to the officer immediately below you. Otherwise, everyone would be gunning for the captain. The captain killed First Officer Dora, promoting me to First Officer in the process. I see. Well, this is an unusual circumstance, and High Command wishes to clean things up, as it were. This is why you were ordered to Warrior's Hall. Here we fight with the Batleth in traditional melee combat. Defeat the challenges I lay before you, and command of the Lollipop will be yours, unquestioned. I have nothing more to prove. This is pointless. I killed Captain Julek, so the ship is mine. Or it will end it if it will end any doubt of my ability to command. I will do this one task. I'm gonna be mean and say this. <laughs> I just really want to. You might see it that way, but High Command has a differing opinion. It's this simple. High Command has dozens of more experienced captains waiting for their own command, and the IKS Lollipop is just waiting to be given away and licked. If you want that ship, you will fight here and earn in the eyes of everyone in the Klingon Defense Force. Well, fine. Well, let's get this over with. Open your inventory, default key I, and double-click the Batleth to equip it. Press Z to switch between it and your disruptor. Done. I have nothing more for you, Warrior. Well, fine. Let's go kill something. You. Die. Take a combo somewhere. Ha ha! I win. See, I'm good enough to fly a ship. Melee weapons have a chance to expose with each strike. In addition, they are able to perform exploits as well as other effects but you must use combos to do so. Now go, choose another challenger, defeat them, and there will be no question about your ability to command. There should have been no question in the first place, Patak. Now, uh, now we learn about the combos. To execute a combo, use left and right attacks of your melee weapon. Wait for one attack to finish before you start another. Left, left, stun. Right, right, root. Left, left, right is uh, damage over time, exploit. Right, right, left, damage over time. Left, right, right is impale. Right, left, left is slam. Left, right, left is large cone. And right, left, right is large cone area of effect spin. Let's see. Okay. Uh, you, Marine. Die. Let's try, uh, oh, come on. Are you going to fight me? You're just going to stand there. There's the combo I was looking for. Nice. I like that combo. It goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. Um, I guess I can't do it again. I was going to show you again. You successfully challenge your superior officer in personal combat. In addition, you have proved your prowess in melee combat here in the Warriors Hall. Take these words as formal acknowledgement of your command in the Klingon Defense Force. As your newest captain, Chancellor Jempak would like to speak to you. He can be found in the Grand Hall in First City itself. Kapla! Take this kit. Kits add abilities that you can use in combat based on your chosen profession. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Open your inventory, default key I, and double click it to equip it. With a kit equipped, abilities are added to your action bar that you can perform in ground combat. There are different kits available and you should replace them as you level up with more powerful versions. But remember, you can only use kits that your class can use. It, it tells you to do I and all that. It doesn't tell you you can hit U and actually see your character. So they need to, uh, I think, replace I with U so that you can, uh, so players will know that they have this whole thing here and they can see where to put their stuff. 
because a new player would not know that this menu exists. All they would know is that I exist, and I is just your inventory. You need you to see your whole everything. And then your kit, of course, is there. And I have mines. Alright, visit Chancellor Jim Park in the Great Hall. It is now loading First City, so I guess now we're in open zone. I think we are. Um, close. I mean, dismounts. The Bridge Officer Trainer is where you can add or change the abilities of any of your current Bridge Officers. Which is right down here that I just passed. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini-map. Yep. Yes, we are now in open zone. So basically after that point, you um, are in the game. And uh, at this point, I, could, I can start playing as my character, as my captain, whatever. I should have full access to uh, my ship and everything. Very basic ship. It's a uh, Burrell Bird of Prey that you start out with. So here's Jim Pock. Let's go ahead and talk to him. There he is. The hero that brought us the Federation prisoner. The warrior who saved the Segpa. The rightful heir of the IKS Lollipop by right of personal combat. Tested by Beloja and proven in the Warrior's Hall. You have done well to start your career, Mr. Happy. I will be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Kapla, Chancellor, it's an honor to command a ship under your leadership. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is a matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. First off, there is a matter of Lieutenant Doran's husband, her Parmok. It is your duty to inform him of her death, as you are now her superior officer even in death. All right, I will inform him of her passing to Stovacor, Chancellor Jepak. Click here or press K to bring up your skill points menu. You can spend skill points to improve your space skills. Thank you. You can also spend skill points to improve your ground skills. Thank you for that. You can improve your bridge officer's ground and space skills. Awesome. So it does tell you all that. Well, that's useful. Because new players wouldn't know that existed either. You've earned enough skill points to level up. Spend your skill points by clicking this icon, blah, blah, blah. Level up. Okay, I gotta spend my skill points. Well, let's just spend them so that I can get on with this. Yes, add, 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 add. Is that all I can add? Okay, there we go. We will find Chagrin, Duren's Parmok, working at the exchange. Ah! So now it's basically um, giving us a little tour now of uh, First City so we know where everything's at. And uh, I do know where the exchange is at. But all this is new. This never used to be in there. It's about uh, that, that woman and her husband and all that. That's all brand new. So technically it's all still part of the tutorial. So let's, uh, oops, the wrong way. let's uh, take care of that. But pretty much at this point, um, you're in the game, so I don't know if you could quit this or if you need to continue this. Like if you've played the uh, KDF side before and you skipped the tutorial, I don't know where it drops you in at one point. Anyway, here's the exchange. Now we need to talk to a Ferengi. Ask Farm about Chagrin. Greetings. I am Farm, a fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Where can I find a Klingon named Chagrin? Chagrin? Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. Last I knew, he was running diagnostics in the warehouse located in the back of the exchange. Go to the warehouse doors in the back of the exchange. So basically, that's pretty cool. It tells you what the exchange is and where it's at. So you know how to, uh, you know get to your mailbox and get to your uh, exchange and everything. That's cool. Choose your away team for your next mission. Your choices for who will be on your away team will grow as you recruit more bridge officers. I want to look real quick at the uh, mission layout here and see uh, 
how these missions connect because I might be going a little too far. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically this whole thing is new. As a captain, it's your duty to inform the next of kin that you are now head of the house. Contact contact Chagrin. And then the next is the hunt is on. After Federation spy escapes a holding cell, I'm going to guess that's the one we just put in a holding cell, you track him to a safe house where you learn that the enemy is at your door. Okay. Okay. Well, now that I know that, I'm technically going to stop this video right now because I technically have done the tutorial. Duties of Command is pretty much a new mission. Just like the hunt is on and the space chase and all this. And these are the new missions I was telling you guys about that now exist in the game that I haven't played yet. And I have been wanting to, of course, and show you. Uh, but now I know how they fit into the game. So uh, well, I'm going to stop right here. We're at Duties of Command. Go to the Exchange Warehouse and all that. I'm going to stop right here and um, call that the end of the tutorial. And then I'll come back and uh, we will play each mission as a new video, just like I've done in the past. Uh, and uh, basically kind of add on to what I have at the end of my KDF playthrough to uh, show you these new missions that are now added into the game. It'll seem a little weird if you watch the playlist from the beginning now, because all the new missions will be at the end of the playlist. But uh, anyway, I'll do that because I do want to see them. So I'm going to end that for the tutorial, but yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, and that was really good. I am impressed with that tutorial. I wish that that is how the game would have started, you know, originally, because that introduces the Klingons exactly as you would expect them to. It uh, tells you about their chain of command, it tells you they're at war with the Federation, um, it tells you all the things you need to know. It tells you more things than the original one did. You know, it tells you how to use kits. It tells you how to fire your weapons. Um, it tells you about your skills. It shows you first city so you kind of know your way around. Uh, the only thing it didn't show, uh, which was a little disappointing because the Federation side showed this, was the power levels. A lot of people forget that, especially if you're a brand new player to the game and you've never played this game before you do not know about power levels and how they can affect your um, DPS and uh, your damage and all that. And uh, the ships, of course, have a... Um, if you put the power toward weapons, uh, you'll do more damage, uh, which is the attack mode, basically. Um, but it starts off on balance mode, so new players don't know about that. It would have been nice if the tutorial showed that. Maybe one of these other missions will eventually, I don't know. But at least as far as what we've done so far, it hasn't shown us that. But other than that, um, I'm very impressed by that tutorial. So um, that was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. I'm going to stop it right here and uh, call that the end of the tutorial video. And then I'm going to continue this and uh, make this a new episode uh, so we can look at uh, Duties of Command as a separate video. Because it technically is when you go to Episodes under Empire the first mission, basically. Um, so thank you all for watching that uh, KDF tutorial video. Um, I have been really wanting to see that. I am, in, I am, I am just totally enthused by that. That was awesome. Uh, thank you, Cryptic, for uh, finally giving the KDF a proper introduction. Um, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next.